If you take a vacation in the Sunshine State, chances are you'll spot dozens of small brown lizards sunning themselves on fence posts, scattering along the underbrush, and climbing palm trees. These lizards are brown anoles. The brown anole is a small, invasive lizard species introduced to Florida from Cuba, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean several decades ago. Today, it can be found as far north as Georgia, where it competes for habitat and food resources with the native green anole. Similar to vividly colored iguanas and chameleons, anoles are known to communicate using primarily visual cues. These include extending a bright red-orange dewlap beneath their neck, flicking their tongue, performing push-ups and head nods, and even changing their skin color to a darker brown and even black. These behaviors are usually expressed in the presence of a female, a competing male, or a new environment. While these visual displays have been well studied since the late 1940s, there are a dearth of studies on anole chemosensation. The reduced vomeronasal organs have led scientists to claim that olfactory centers in anoles were poorly developed or non-sensory. Enlisting the help of 14 male and 4 female brown anoles, Beacon's group in 2016 sought to confirm their intersexual chemosensation. The researchers set up two terrariums. Both were completely enclosed and covered with a dark window film to preclude all visual cues. Females were housed in the experimental terrarium for about eight hours prior to their removal. Males were introduced to the control and experimental terrariums at a randomized order, once a day, until all the males were exposed to both terrariums. Researchers then recorded the frequency of visual displays, including dewlap extension, head nods, push-ups, and tongue extensions. The duration of exploratory walking, running, and jumping was also recorded. Results showed that male anole lizards did indeed perform more display and exploratory behavior when introduced to the female-treated habitat. Tongue and dewlap extension frequencies were most significantly increased. This evidence strongly suggests that brown anoles do possess chemosensing abilities. Despite diminished vomeronasal organs, they may have a more developed nasal epithelium that can sense volatiles. Females likely deposit chemicals from either the cloaca, skin, or feces that can be perceived by males later. However, these results may not tell the full story. The chemical cues from this experiment may actually be visual. A femoral gland secretion by the desert iguana has the ability to absorb ultraviolet light and can be detected by other iguanas. It remains unknown whether or not anoles possess a similar ability. Brown anoles may use both visual and chemosensory cues to increase likelihood of transmission. After all, Restating your message in a different way is an effective communication technique to get your point across.